right. If you would please introduce your name, what program you were with, and then start with why you chose to do the Europe Summer Research Fellowship Program. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kiki Martin, and I participated in the Community College Summer Fellowship Program um, in 2017. Um, I am a senior and my major is sociology. Um, I chose to apply for the Europe uh, summer program because essentially an advisor at my old college told me I should and that she thought I'd be a good fit. Um, so I was like, sure, I'll go for it. Research sounds cool. Um, and it was definitely a whole lot more than what I was expecting. My name is Clay Glosher. I was in the Women and Gender Summer Fellowship Program. I'm a senior majoring in Sociology, Psychology, and Women's Studies. Um, I chose to do the WAGSFP program because uh, as one of my majors is Women's Studies, um, the Women and Gender Summer Fellowship kind of fit my personality, what I'm interested in, and I also got to do research on my thesis, which was something I didn't think, expect to be able to do over the summer because I did not have funding, and Europe provided me funding for that. Hi everybody, my name is Jeremiah Hollis. I am currently a junior studying biomedical engineering and my summer program that I uh, participated in was the MCUBE Scholars Program. And the main reason why I chose this program uh, for my summer program is because as a biomedical engineer I deal with a whole, with a whole load of different subjects from chemistry to biology to engineering itself. So there's a lot of interdisciplinary work going on. Um, and as an MCube scholar, you're put in a queue with different, um, different subjects of research from humanities to social science to engineering itself. Um, that, in addition to um, my love for research, sort of just got me to this program. So, yeah. Hey y'all, my name is Bichette Pasha, and I did the Detroit Community-Based Research Program. Um, I'm a senior in Communication Studies, and I chose the program because I'm really interested in Detroit because of its rich history. And um, the program pairs you up with nonprofits, so I also have an interest in that. And I was mostly interested in seeing how research can be applied in the real world. Hi, my name is Amber George, and I participated in the Intel SRC um, Summer Fellowship Program. And I chose to join the program because I was a Europe student. Um, the year before that summer that I participated, and I was able to continue with the project that I worked on all year. And because I was able to continue, I was able to um, attend all of the experiments for it because they only do the experiments during the summertime, and that was just really exciting for me. All right, uh, if you could expand a little bit on what your experience in the summer fellowship program was, and specifically what your research was about. Um, well, for me, uh, with transferring, um, I was especially coming from a community college. Um, I got to spend the summer before my first year here at Michigan and get familiar with the campus, um, learn where everything was, um, just feel more comfortable. So that was really great for me. Um, I also, um, you know, established great relationships with professors that I was working for and GSIs that I was also working under that have still like benefited me um, greatly to this day. Um, my research was about the um, Title IX, is um, about Title IX, and um, uh, Title IX is basically a federal uh, mandate for colleges and universities in the U.S. to uphold a, an environment um, free from sex discrimination. Um, and so we were specifically looking at sexual assault on college campuses and um, looking at uh, the information and resources uh, these colleges and universities provide for survivors on campus, um, and whether or not they were doing a good or not so good job at upholding the Title IX regulations. So part of the Women and Gender Summer Fellowship Program, um, like I said, there I worked on my thesis personally, which is looking at um, gay men's ex um, social factors that impact their sexual experience at the University of Michigan. But a lot of people did a variety of projects. People came in with projects, people found projects. We had people from other universities, other colleges come and work with our mentors and our researchers and faculty. And um, for me, it was really interesting and really important because I got to work on a project that is supposed to last like almost a year and a half. And without the summer program, like I said, I wouldn't have been able to work on it and be funded. 
Um, and I got to work with a bunch of other people and listen to their feedback and get direct help from them and understand like how my research impacts more than just my university because it also had effects on the other people who like took that back to their university and it was just really great working with a bunch of other people and getting their ideas and their feedback on my research. So my experience with the MCube Scholars Program was pretty good. Um, I wasn't expecting uh, it to be so inter interdisciplinary, but I'm happy it was. Um, specifically, my project had to do with uh, CRISPR-Cas9, which is a gene editing system. Um, and so basically all I had to do, all I had to do, was uh, splice out a damaged piece of DNA and insert a fixed piece of DNA into bacteria. Um, Basically, um, and so it was very, that part was very interesting. I learned a lot about the system. Um, CRISPR-Cas9 is like at the frontier of gene editing right now. So it was nice to sort of work along uh, professors um, at one of the highest ranking research universities in the country. Um, alongside that, um, there was also ample opportunity to work with my cube, which consisted of three other um, projects that were like completely different fields. So. One was humanities and the other one was uh, social sciences. So interacting with, with them and applying their research to my research and the different methods they use um, that I applied to the lab was very cool. Along with the uh, trips that we went on uh, every week uh, to the different startup companies around in Arbor to the different museums uh, on the campus of U of M. So it was a great time. I highly recommend um, my research or my experience in the Detroit Community-Based Research Program, or DCBRP, um, was really great. It was really fun. So the program takes you and pairs you up with a nonprofit in Detroit. Um, I ended up working for a big nonprofit called Focus Hope, and in speci specifically, I worked on their Hope Village initiative, which basically involved a lot of qualitative research in creating like collaborative storytelling environments and spaces for people for, from the community to share their history of the neighborhood. Um, so it was definitely really interesting because it was research unlike any other research I had done in that it was very collaborative with like just everyday people outside of the traditional like academic setting. Um, so that was really fun. And then outside of work, DC Burp really encourages like getting to know your cohort that you're living in Detroit with. So that's definitely a huge part of it. Like weekly, um, every group of students will plan like an outing for the whole cohort. So you'll go to like a museum in Detroit or a talk in Detroit and it's really illuminating because you get to learn a lot about the city. So um, in the Intel program, I was able to um, attend bag lunch meetings. I believe there was one er, one or two every week. And every time there was a different presenter from a different background, um, a different uh, research discipline, and it was really interesting in that um, I got to learn a lot more about my interests because at the time I believe I was going into my sophomore year, so I wasn't really completely sure what I wanted to do. And as far as my research goes, I wasn't really sure um, where it would lead me. So that was really helpful for me. And my research project was in um, astrophysical phenomena. And specifically, it was the study of uh, gas compression within supernovas. And it was just an amazing experience. I learned so much. And um, because of it, I was able to kind of find my path um, throughout the university and try to find my major and so on and so forth. Well, that kind of leads perfectly into my next question. Thank you, Amber. Um, what have you learned from your summer research experience and how has it impacted your current uh, current research and just you and your student capacity at the university? <coughs> Do you want to lead back in? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so like I said, it kind of helped me to choose the major that I wanted to do. Um, it helped me to figure out the project teams that I'd like to participate in. I'm currently a member of M Rover, which is um, the Mars Rover team. We build a rover, and it's supposed to with, it's supposed to be able to withstand the conditions of um, Mars, <laughs> and um, complete all the tasks that an actual Mars rover would complete. And that's been amazing. Um, other than that, it's also um, I was able to get closer with Europe 
which is why I chose to, you know, be a part of Europe outside of being a student, you know, working as a PA and working in the office and so on and so forth. So it's had a really great impact on me. Um, I would say I learned a lot um, in DCBRP over the summer. Um, a big part of the program was understanding how nonprofits work. And it was really interesting to see how, like, the research um, experience that I had had um, in the past, like, allowed me to implement that towards social activism or social justice in Detroit, and that was something that I really enjoyed. Um, I would also say the program does, like, a great job at teaching you more about the city outside of, like, downtown, midtown areas and taking you into, like, the rest of Detroit because it's a huge city. It has, like, a huge history, so those are the big things that I learned. So in the MCUBE Scholars Program, I learned a great deal about uh, not only my major, but other majors as well. Um, specifically in terms of my research project, I learned um, a lot about biochemistry and CRISPR-Cas9 system, um, which helped me in my other classes, such as biochemistry and molecular biology. Um, so the summer research not only helped me advance my knowledge in terms of real world research, but also in terms of acad academic um, classes. Um, <clears throat> in addition, uh, it also impacted me as a current student uh, because as an engineer, engineers tend to be more dismissive of other majors. Um, and so this program really opened up my eyes to how impactful other majors are and how important they are, not only to um, the university and to their own respective fields, but also to engineering and how engineering can utilize these different majors to help progress their work. So. Had a great impact. So in the Women and Gender Summer Fellowship Program, um, I obviously got ahead on my thesis, which was great. But I also learned a lot of other like, projects that counted as a women and gender project. I thought it was going to be mostly humanities and social science. We had a lot of students working on like breast cancer things, um, like impacts of just like women's mental health, um, health in general, and like gender discrimination in the workplace. Um, gender discrimination in healthcare, um, the myth that like women tolerate pain more, and then like that's why they don't get as many uh, pain meds if they're asked. It's like they're not supposed like the doctor is discriminated against women. So it was like we had medical, we had social science, we had biology, we had chemistry, we had all these things that were counted as women and gender when we thought that it was just going to be you know everybody studying like diversity and like why like social change and all that stuff, but. Um, in general, yeah, it was like, it was more interdisciplinary than I thought, and that was really impactful to see how many important aspects of women and gender there are outside of just the social sciences. Um, so like I said in the beginning, um, when I was applying, I was like, sure, research. I don't really know what that looks like or what that means, but I want to do that because I know I want to go to grad school. Um, and it, like the program, it really opened my eyes working with my mentor on the project because you see completely how um, you know researchers conceptualize their research questions and then like put them into action. Um, you know from all the steps, and I was in a big part of data collection and data analysis, which was huge to understanding research and how to do research. Um, so from there, I was like, wow, I know this is something I want to do and continue doing. Um, so I decided to apply to um, the Sociology Senior Thesis Program um, to do my own research project, come up with my own question and collect my own data, analyze my own data. Um, so, you know, the summer program really prepared me for that and then I also had my mentor I've been working with who was a great uh, letter of rec for the program. Um, so that was pretty huge in me continuing on with research and my senior thesis. Um, is going to be a great um, example of my accomplishments and moving forward with applying to grad school. And I also, um, and now I decided to go continue on and do Europe throughout the academic year and changing gears, which I got to stay on my project and continue learning about research. And now I'm a peer facilitator because I just loved <laughs> Europe and being um, helping students with research um, so much. So it's been a huge part of my academic experience. And then why should other U of M and or community college students uh, take advantage of this type of opportunity? So I feel like everyone should take advantage of this opportunity. One, because um, 
it's so helpful with you trying to figure out what you want to do, not maybe in life, but you know, here at the university. And as you can hear from the stories here, I mean, they were able to complete part of their senior theses, and you know, I was able to figure out what I wanted to do and find project teams and so on and so forth. It's just a great experience to have on your resume as well. Also, it's paid which was really, really important for me. <laughs> it was really important for me because um, I didn't want to go home after my first year of college and just sit around. And I needed something to do that was constructive and something that would pay me. <laughs> so there's lots of great benefits to the program. Um, yeah, to add on to that, I mean, I definitely agree that like any new opportunity or experience is going to help you narrow down what you want to do in the future. Um, especially if you're like a freshman or a sophomore, then any experience you have is going to help you narrow it down because you probably might not know what you want to do or you're not sure. Um, for DCBRP specifically, I would say if you have any interest in like social justice or activism and research, then this is definitely the best summer program that you could apply to because you are literally on the ground with nonprofits in Detroit every day working on research in social justice. So if that's something you're interested in, or if you're interested in making friends, because it's a great program <laughs> for that too, um, I would definitely recommend applying. Uh, so, I would recommend students apply to the MQ Scholars Program because one, uh, it really just solidifies your interest in a certain field because you go into you know your respective field, your your you know corner of the cube, and you're introduced to like a whole bunch of different other things. So you get to see what else is out there that relates to the subject you may have never known before. Um, in addition, you also get to spend the summer in an arbor, which is beautiful, and you get paid for it, which is also pretty nice. Um, and like Bash said, um, you make a lot of friends too, and it's just a great time in general. Um, so yeah, that's why I would recommend it. Uh, I'd like reiterate almost everyone's point on the panel, but um, also I just want to say like it's a, usually like about a 10 week program, so it doesn't take up your whole summer, so there still is time to like go home or like enjoy the summer. Most programs end in the beginning of August, so then you have the rest of August to, you know, relax before school starts, enjoy your time. Um, but also just like there's also a lot of flexibility in the time commitment for most of these programs. I know we had a choice between the 20, 30, and 40 hours a week, so I picked the middle option because that's what seemed most doable for me. Um, and just yeah, the ability to work with people over the summer, spend time here have a flexible schedule, but also get paid for your work, and something that's more meaningful than, you know, like, I could have been folding clothes at Urban Outfitters, like, that was not going to help me benefit my career any further. Um, yeah. um, for, as a community college student, um, transfer, I, I, I can't imagine not doing the program. Um, you know, when you're a transfer, especially community college transfer, um, you know, we get like two, three years tops to like <laughs> get through and do what we need to do here. So coming in, you like feel lost and like, where do I go? What do I do? Um, with the program, I was already familiar with campus, um, getting around campus. I had my mentor who at one point sat down with me and told me these are all the classes that you should take and, um, you know, these are the things you should apply for if you want to um, you know, continue doing research or, um, you know, continue on to grad school. Um, I wouldn't have known about the senior thesis program if I had not, um, not been here this summer with my mentor working on the project. Um, and, you know, just like getting used to the campus, making friends, make, networking, um, it was a great experience. So I, community college students definitely need to take advantage of it. Thank you, everybody, and thank you, whoever watched this video. <laughs> <laughs>